More than a million people are expected to visit the Calgary Stampede this year. But Conservative leader Pierre Polyev is the only political leader saddling up for the event. Both Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and NDP leader Jagmeet Singh will not be in Calgary. Other than during the pandemic, Trudeau has visited the Stampede every year since becoming Liberal leader in 2013. Political watchers say Trudeau and Singh may be skipping the event to avoid facing any tough questions from constituents or caucus members. And joining me now to talk more about this is political analyst Lori Turnbull. Lori, welcome. Thank you for being here. So I want to ask, what do you make of both Trudeau and Singh skipping out on the stampede this year? Is this a calculated move? Yes, I think so. I don't think it's an accident. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's the fact that both of them have reasons why uh, they they don't want to be there. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean, uh, you know, that they, they don't want to be at the stampede. I think it just means that they don't want to potentially confront some of the questions that they would get. So, for example, for Jagmeet Singh, um, Nahid Nenshi has just been elected the leader of the NDP in Alberta by a landslide. And he has been uh, completely straightforward about the fact that he wants to distance himself, even I think he's used the word divorce, the NDP at the federal level. And I think he sees his own role as a postpartisan, as somebody who wants to chart his own course. He doesn't want the NDP in Alberta to be limited by uh, the, the political stakes of the NDP at the federal level. And I think he's he's very serious about that. And so that puts Jagmeet Singh in kind of an odd spot if he's you know <laughs> at the stampede taking pictures with his leader who doesn't want anything to do with him or um or the the obviousness of not being anywhere near him after this big win for trudeau uh, he's clearly in a really difficult political situation right now. And I think the fact that um, the, the Calgary MP is one of the people that has been vocal in saying that that they want to sit down with Trudeau, that there needs to be a caucus meeting, I think that puts him in a pretty odd spot. I think these days he's being very careful about what he does uh, to try to get through the summer without having this caucus meeting this, that many people are, are wondering about. And so I think all, all in, the politics of it are that both of these leaders are going to sit it out. Now, Justin Trudeau uh, specifically has visited the Calgary Stampede every year since becoming leader of the Liberal Party in 2013. Uh, how significant is it that he's not attending this year? I think it is significant because the Calgary Stampede is a huge event. Um, it is hugely important to Calgarians and to to the, in the West, right? Like it's extremely important it to uh, cultural life in Western Canada. And I think it's important for political leaders to do things that are outside of the Ottawa bu bubble and that are outside of Ontario and Quebec. It's, you know, even if this is not the most safe ground for leaders politically, and I don't, obviously it's not uh, for the Liberals or for the NDP, but for the Prime Minister not to go to the stampede, I think is a moment where he could be doing something that does get national and international attention that's hugely important for the province. And it is a moment, even if it's not, again, not safe political ground, but a moment for him to connect with people who are not in that kind of traditional stronghold. I think it shows something about where we are politically and that leaders are really focusing on the ridings, the parts in the country where they think they can turn something into a win. They can, you know, they, they're focusing on those people who might be convinced to vote for them. I think they're being very scrupulous, very particular about how they're spending their time. And Calgary Stampede didn't make the cut this year. Is their absence going to help the Conservatives or do you think people just have their minds made up? Um, I don't think Trudeau's absence is going to help uh, or hurt or affect the Conservatives. Uh, I, I don't think Trudeau's absence is going to affect them at all. I think it, it is what it is. Has everybody made up their mind? Probably not. But I don't think that... Um, I don't think Trudeau's attendance would change anything for the Conservatives. I don't think they're going to point to his absence, really. They don't have to. They could, Polyev can show up, flip pancakes, talk to people, shake, shake hands and do his thing. I think he'll talk about Trudeau's record and talk about Trudeau's policies more than they, they'll talk about his absence. All right, that is our time. Laurie Turnbull, political analyst, thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you, too. Take care.